G'day, I hope you're well. Today I'm going to show you how to draw Grogu from The Mandalorian sitting in his pod. Shout out to Harry J for your suggestion. Going to start with some construction lines and also some guidelines just to get the basic shapes of Grogu in his pod. Then we're going to start with all the details. I'm going to use a Copic 0.3 multi-liner. You might like to use a felt tip pen or a Sharpie depending on what you're going to be drawing with. Let's start with the two eyes and the nose. Make sure that the eye shapes are similar and a big smile because Grogu is pretty happy in his pod. Now we're going to be drawing on some of the folds in his jacket or his coat and just a lot of curves make up Grogu. And remember, this is where you can change any parts you like when, when you're using the black pen. If you wanted to, you could be drawing this in pencil and then once you're happy with it, then go over it with black. But I'm drawing it in black to show you how to go about it. So there we have sort of like the collar that goes around his neck and now I'm starting to draw one of his arms with some curves coming down. And now his fingers, as you can see, I've zoomed in here to show you the shapes of his fingers. He's got some little claws and he's, and he's also got three fingers. So some curves and then don't forget to do the little claw piece. Okay, continuing by drawing some, going over some of the lines of the pod, just making sure I'm getting all the details there and then the hinge where the pod would close. Now, if you've watched The Mandalorian, you'll know that um, Grogu is one of the cool characters from the show, one of the main characters. And I just love the way his story is evolving so far. I've watched the first two epi uh, seasons and, ha and I just can't wait to see the third season and what's going to happen with that. He's also doing the other claws. So... He's, remember, he's got three fingers and some little claws on each finger, and there's his little thumb. He's sort of got his hand holding onto the side of the pod, and all the folds in his sort of, I guess we call it a jacket or, or coat, whatever you'd like to call it. Making sure you get those curves even and consistent. Move your whole arm as you draw that. There's a little tip for you. Now we've got some little details like the buttons on the front of the pod, a couple of little rectangles and some square shapes. So like I've said before, all drawings made up of lines and shapes and going around, getting those curves looking good. Remember another thing I do say is there's no such thing as mistakes. It's all learning. And you might've seen a little line there that I'll, I'm going to thicken that up later on. Don't forget some of the, um, little uh, wrinkles, I guess you'd call them, on the top of his head, just like Yoda has. And then the cool ears sticking out the side. Now my drawing, I have simplified it down a little bit. I haven't got all the little hairs and details on there. I've sort of made my Grogu a little bit more cartoon-like. I've done this so that it's easier to draw and he still looks pretty cute and cool because he is a cool character making sure that we put on some of the details, trying to make his ears look the same sort of width on each side. They are slightly different shapes because um, he's on a different angle and putting in the main areas. So look at these curves for the bottom there and another little curve along that line. Now, just putting the sparkle in his eyes. So that's the little bit that I'm drawing here. I'm gonna leave white because that, and I'm gonna color the rest in black. Finishing off the pod, it's got like a little, couple of little curved lines because there's like a rim on the pod that we're gonna draw over and coming back over from the other side. It's up to you how you draw your curve. Some people find it easier to draw with their whole arm. Some people draw with their wrist. I'm using my whole arm there. As you can see, I lifted my arm off the page, putting all the little details in, making Grogu look awesome. You might know him as Baby Yoda, but I call him Grogu. And now I'm just getting a thicker multi-liner and coloring in the eyes and leaving those little white twinkles. 
keep trying, keep doing your best. And thanks for joining me today so far. I've really appreciated you watching this. And remember, if you've enjoyed it, give me a like and subscribe for future content. I've drawn Grogu for Harry um, and also for May the 4th, 2022. May the 4th be with you as he's, a, he's part of the Star Wars franchise. And you can see in the background, I've got like a little um, horizon line that I've gone over. I'm just adding in a few more details for the um, jacket or the coat. And I will be starting to color this in. And I'm going to speed up the video and I'm going to color in with Copic Multiliners. But first you can see that I've outlined Baby Yoda in his pod a little bit thicker to provide some interest and to make him stand out. Now I added a little background. You can make your own background up. I've got a bit of desert and the sky at night with a bit of a moon, okay? And I've colored in using the Copic markers. You might use textures, you might use pencils, it's up to you. I like Copics because as you can see, you can refill them. You can go over it with some colors as well. Thanks for joining me in drawing Grogu today. I really appreciate your support. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future content. Once again, thanks Harry for the suggestions. Remember, if you guys have got some suggestions that you would like to see me draw, drop me a comment below or send me a message and I'll see what I can do. Till next time, cheers, thanks, see ya, bye.